There are leaders who have been rebelling against God's chosen ones. That's right. I said there are leaders who have been rebelling against God's chosen ones. Most certainly, God is saying that these people even have companions of thieves. That means they run with thieves. They're liars, they're deceivers, and they have rebelled against you, and they have rebelled against the Most High. The word of the Lord in Isaiah 1 and 23 says, Your leaders are rebels, the companions of thieves. All of them love bribes and demand payoffs and they refuse to defend the cause of orphans or fight for the rights of widows. You may have felt like you have been done unfairly in your system or in the job system where you work. Wherever you are, where there's a leader, there is something going on and God is saying that there are so many things that are taking place that they feel like they can't be seen. They feel so confident and comfortable in their wickedness that they feel like no one sees them or no one's going to ever catch them. And I know you've been there plenty of time, times wondering, when will this end? When will this stop? When will the leaders stop abusing those that are less fortunate or those that are underneath them when it comes to their leadership? Man, I'm telling you, God is trying to change this world, but it's been so hard because so many people have done this. So many people have gone against the grain to try and just to try and do just anything for clout, anything for wealth, anything to make themselves look good amongst the people who are out to, that sees them on the outside. They're not wanting to change their inner side, their inner inside. God is also saying when they lift up a hand to pray to him, he will not listen. When they lift, and this is in Isaiah 1 and 15 here, it says, when, they, when you lift up your hand in prayer, I will not look. Though you offer many prayers, I will not listen, for your hands are covered with the blood of the innocent victims. See, most of these people don't understand that what they do, it actually attaches to more than who they know. When they're doing things underhandedly under the table, they're not understanding it affects more than just that one person. It affects a lot of people. For instance, if you are one of the ones that they underhandedly did wrong, this could affect your family. This could affect your home life to where you're unable to pay your bills or pay your rent. You could lose what you have or if you've already lost what you have, there's things that I'm trying to tell you about those leaders who have rebelled. They have to give an account to everyone that they did wrong. It's everyone. It's just not that one person. It's those that fell underneath whatever that was that took place in the life, the, um, the, less, the unfortunate events that happened, those that were involved who went through that situation, they have to go through it for them. They have to give account of them because they're leaders. See, God has trusted them to be a leader, to do the things that they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be able to set an example for those in the community, those around them, those at the job, but they're taking advantage of those that are underneath or those that are less fortunate. Even your landlord, honey, do you hear me? If your landlord has been doing you wrong and they have been affecting you when it comes to whatever you're doing, that person has to give account to you and that whole entire household because of what they are doing unjustly to disturb you. That's right. So understand and hear me when I say this. The leaders, those leaders will definitely have to, they will have to answer to the most high. They will have to answer. And it says he will seek revenge on your enemies. And these people are certainly enemies. Anybody that is an en enemy of yours is an enemy of God. I just said that in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, make sure you go and watch my previous video. But trust me, God will raise up his fist against them. And he will melt down. It says he will melt down 
melt them down and skim off the slag understand this see these people don't really have a heart and most of the time their soul they they, they don't even know where their soul is going to go they don't care in their mind they're thinking that they are getting away with it because they feel like they're weak they're comfortable in their wickedness it makes them feel good it makes them feel good to do people wrong it makes them feel good to answer wrongly to steal from other people to do things that are not righteous it makes them feel more empowered and see they will have to give account like i said they will feel less fortunate once they receive whatever is coming to them from the most high we are the people and we are to be done right. We are God's chosen people. We are not to touch the anointed one. You are anointed. And as they have touched you, whether they've done you wrong, whether they have taken from you, stolen from you, not done you right at the job, not done you right at your apartment or your home where your landlord, whoever it is, those officials, even those that are over the home association, homeowners association, the HOA, whoever if they're doing you wrong they have to give account to it they have to be the ones to answer to the most high even if they don't believe in the most high because y'all know some people don't believe even if they don't believe they do have to answer they don't understand it so anything that has been brought to the forefront anything where they are being exposed that is them answering to the most high so understand and hear me when i say this you don't have to worry that whatever you're going through, whoever or whatever has taken over to try and overpower you in the wrong way, where the leaders have rebelled, they have to answer. And trust me, that also means that they will be exposed. They will have to be seen for who they truly are. Everything is going to be to all the cover. Everything they covering up is going to be taken off. So trust me, God is saying vengeance is mine. Vengeance is the Lord. So he's going to do you a favor by bringing vengeance to your enemies. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to give this a channel, you can go to chosenonestv.com. You can go over there and donate. Or you can go over there and set up a session with me you can set up one of those um either i have this is what i have i have the uh life coaching session i have the grief counseling i also have the vents venting session where you can call we can talk over the phone whatever you're going through we can talk about it honey and we can pray about it so go over there and check it out hit me up i look forward to talking to you guys peace and blessings peace and blessings. May your peace be restored even in the days where these people have rebelled against you. May your peace be restored in Jesus name. Amen.